Hi everyone, happy Friday. I am going to read you a spring story today and show you a quick little spring craft that you can do. It does not feel much like spring this week, so I thought I'd bring a little spring to your screen. We are now closed through May 1st at least, so that is to coincide with the governor's shelter in place order. You will notice that uh, all of our events have been canceled through this month and next month. So if you see them pop up, that is just because they're still popping up and we apologize for any confusion that might have brought on. So just be sure to know that if you are seeing them, they are canceled. We are trying to provide some things online so that you can see, you know, like story times. Colleen is offering some book recommendations. Janet's hopping on here doing some things. So you will see some things and genealogy is doing some things. So you'll see some things now and then hopping on here. Hopefully we're able to keep you engaged and keep you apprised of some things that are going on at the library. So now I will read to you, I wasn't sure where I said it, the very hungry caterpillar. There he is. And here he is on the back eating his way through a leaf. I haven't seen very many caterpillars at my house. Have any of you seen any hungry caterpillars? I definitely haven't seen any that look like this. So colorful and so many holes that he has eaten through. Oh, it's a bright, sunny sun. No sun today where I'm at. If you guys have sunshine where you're watching, quite jealous. Could use some warm sun today. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the egg. Look at the little face on the moon. Do you guys ever look up at the moon and see a face? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. What part of your body usually tells you that you're hungry? Usually it's my tummy that tells me I'm hungry. It goes, feed me. Sometimes my mouth waters if I've let it go too long. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one big apple. But he was still hungry. Hmm. Do you ever eat something and still feel hungry? I know that happens in this house a lot. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. Hmm. Do you like pears? Looks like he ate two fresh pears. I wonder if he ate the core and the stem and everything. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. Mm. Look, one, two, three. Three plums. Mm. That seems like a lot for this teeny tiny little caterpillar, doesn't it? On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Look at those perfect strawberries. Let's count those two. You ready? One, two, three, four. Four whole strawberries. Now, when you eat a strawberry, do you like to eat them whole like that? Do you just pick them up by this green part right there, stem and all, and just go? 
Or do you like to cut off the green part and then cut up the strawberry a little bit and eat them in pieces? Do you like to eat them plain? Maybe a little whipped cream? Hmm. Do you think the caterpillar likes to eat them plain? Do you think he likes whipped cream? Maybe make a little strawberry shortcake out of them? wonder what his culinary skills are like. I think he just eats through them. I don't think he's that picky. Oh, how many oranges does he eat? Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. On Saturday. Ah, look at all that food. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. Look at all of that food that he ate in one day. That seems like so much for one teeny tiny little caterpillar, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. That night, he had a stomach ache. I think I would have a stomach ache if I ate that much. My goodness. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. What do you like to eat when you have a stomach ache? What makes your belly feel better? Hmm. I like crackers or toast. Sometimes a banana or applesauce. Rice is okay sometimes, but usually I stick with crackers and sometimes Sprite or water. That's my go-to when I have a tummy ache. Toast, crackers, and Sprite. Apparently caterpillars like leaves. Look, and he ate one, two, three, four, five big holes in there. But look at this. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And he built a small house. Do you know what it's called? A cocoon. All around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. Is that how you go outside of your house? Do you have to nibble a hole in it? No, we usually just open a door, right? I mean, that's how I leave my house. And he pushed his way out. Oh my God. Goodness, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that. Did you know that they turned into beautiful butterflies? Would you want to turn into a beautiful butterfly if you could? I think that he turned into a beautiful butterfly. And I've never seen one quite so colorful. 
we are going to, or I am going to show you how to make a cute little caterpillar on a leaf. So I have this leaf shape that is cut out of just green construction paper. And you can cut out out of white paper, obviously, and they can just color it green, or they can have a white leaf, brown leaf, red leaf, whatever color you want. And then I did, when I was in town to go to the grocery store, I did make a stop at the library to pick up some of my crafting stuff. And this was actually a craft that I was going to do during a story time. So here is the one that was made for it. So these are the pre-cut circles. And then just draw a little, little face and you can draw a couple little antenna or you can, trusty little glue stick here, not so trusty because I can get the lid off. You can also just dab some glue on some circles here. You can glue them on and you can choose to, and I'm gonna do four because what I'm going to do, another thing that you can do to practice with little ones, I'm gonna make one of these the face. If you have wiggle eyes, because we were gonna use wiggle eyes in story time, if you have little wiggle eyes, these happen to be self stick. It can kind of be a pain sometimes to get the back off, but I got it. You can have a little eye on there. We were going to glue on little pipe cleaners for antenna. If you have those, you can stick those on. You can just cut little strips of paper. But one cool thing you can do with little ones. Okay, so I did just three right here. Now, I'm not gonna use my name because my name would require more letters than that. My name is Brandy, for those of you who may not remember. I'm going to use my daughter's name and I'm going to pull a pin out. My crowns are not here right the second, they're in the kitchen. So you can practice having them write the letters to their name. There you go. Yeah, there we go. It's crooked. So you could put as many circles as you needed on there to spell out your child's name. It may have to be a, like squished together more. It may have to be a really squiggly one. Squiggly caterpillar. Or it may have to just be a really round caterpillar. I don't know. It just depends on how long your child's name is. Or your circles may have to be smaller. However you choose to make it. Like I said, these could just be drawn on. I did not put a lot of glue on there when I just stuck those on really quickly. Or they could be cut out of construction paper. They could just color an eye on. However you choose to make your caterpillar is totally fine. I would love to see it if you make them. If you want to snap a picture of it and stick it in the comments, that would be fabulous. Whether you use a child's name or not, I think it'd be fun to see all the different caterpillars that might get made and how you guys choose to make them at home, that would be great. I will put a couple of samples in the pictures. I have another leaf or two. So I will make another sample of another possible way that you guys could do this. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. It looks like it might be kind of chilly and rainy last I checked, but hopefully you're able to have some fun and I will see you guys later. Have a great day.